Hey guys! So today I decided to make a video about anxiety and going back to school and or going to school depending on whatever is going on with you and yeah so I guess I'll get started. I guess I'll give you guys a little bit about my own background and so right now I'm going into my third year at SUNY New Paltz. Um, it's a state university upstate and um, I'm a minority kid who comes from a minority background and I suffer from a lot of anxiety and I know that a lot of people may not talk about it or they may not you know want to really find some help about it but I just wanted to give some tips because I know for at least for me I watched a lot of YouTube videos when I was going into college and I was like I don't know what I'm doing I don't have no family who has went there um and i really didn't know who to talk to but my teachers and you know they're always going to be a good supporting system so i kind of wanted to have somebody who knows where i come from and who know who i am kind of a little bit or have very similar a very similar situation talk about it so i know that i get really bad um test anxiety and so going back to school i'm really anxious i like broke out because I was like, there's two more weeks into school. I'm so nervous. I don't know what I'm going into. I know it's my third year. And my classes are going to be so hard. And I'm a bio major. And so, you know, and I'm on a pre-med track. So I'm like really freaked out about it. But, you know, we all go through this kind of time that we're all a little scared about it. So I guess I'll, I'm just going to give you guys some tips on how to relax yourself before going to school. My first thing I would do is go and if you, well... If you're a returning student and you know what classes you're going to take, look at the books that are for the class. Try to find ways to buy it early. Try to find a way to buy it cheaper. Ask other students if they're selling them on the websites. Because I know everyone has like a group, like class 2019 or, you know, first year, second year transfer students on like Facebook or social group and try asking people for these books. Or if you really need these books. Secondly, I would um, personally... Make sure I have all the utensils I really need, so like pens, pencils, um, a backpack, my notes, and I also look online, see like different types of note taking skills. If you guys never had to take notes or you guys are not familiar with like the college experience, then you guys should look online for note takers and things like that who give their tips. I know I'm going to make a video soon about it, so tune in into that if you guys want to know about some of that and how to do that. Also... Thirdly, I guess, I would, um, give me a thought because I'm trying to make sure I give you guys good information and not just repeat myself over and over. Um, make sure you have the basic essentials. Like, if you're moving into a dorm, make sure you have everything you need. Um, some, you don't want to overspend either, you know, you don't want to go too much over your butt your budget and you also don't want a cluttered room because you're gonna feel like at least for me I feel like I have so much anxiety there's too many things clustered up and pop everywhere like I need it to be like simple into one spot I also have a problem with bringing a lot of stuff to college all the time and I end up giving stuff away or I end up donating it you know whatever the cause I feel like it should go to um also I think you can look at at least for me, I know that my class is about a week before classes. We can look on Blackboard, which is a um, website where you can look at your classes and people put stuff, your professors put their information in that you guys can look at the syllabus and set yourself up. Like I started myself with a planner and I actually don't have my example planner here because I left it back in school in storage. And so now I just bought a new planner, which I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so... This is my planner. The reason I like this planner is because I can go through the days of the week and look at how my week is gonna go. So I hope the lighting doesn't suck. So I can see the days of the week to see how it's gonna go. And I start highlighting. So usually what I do is I take each class and I fill it in during the time or if I, and I, I have a job. I'll fill in the job, the times I have, and then I'll highlight it with a different color. I will show you guys a picture of that somehow um, through YouTube or my social media about how you guys can look at how I organize myself. And then I write little side notes. And then for the calendars, for big exams, I would fill in 
the exams in here to make sure that you know that I'm prepared a week ahead and I would start reading the chapters ahead of time if I were you like for example my professor emailed all of us for Oregon and asked us to do work before that there's chapters there and I have plenty of friends who already started reading it and you know trying to get ahead because it's gonna be a lot to take on and honestly if you have a will there's a way when there's a will there's a way so you can do it I also prepared myself with the basics Oh, also that cost $15, my planner, so it's a little expensive, but for a year, it does the job. Um, I bought like this um, pencil case because I carry highlighters, sharpies, anything you could use when I don't have the utensils, like the um, chalk, I have chalk in here sometimes. I have the expo markers for dry erase boards. Um, and I bought myself two notebooks from Target and I love these and they're so cute and every time I buy stuff it makes me more motivated to do work and I have a binder which I usually just take my PDFs and I'll show you guys in the next video and PDFs and I'll like take notes and I'll show you guys how I do that um, and then I take there's this other book I bought from Staples like a binder from the five star MEAD and it has like this these three rings and they're like rubber and I put like sections in it for homework um, practice problems and class notes so I take in class so I all I depend everything on like what I have in class for example one class is a hybrid class which is you take some in class and some in not so I'm taking this book and while I'm in class I'm gonna split it well I'm gonna actually take this book and while I'm in class take notes in class and then I'm gonna have like a dollar you know <coughs> Ooh, God bless me. And I'm gonna take another dollar notebook, and then when I'm taking notes on the internet, I'll have two books for that one class. So you know, I don't want to mix notes up because it's really important that you stay organized. And at least for me, I know that I one day will take the MCAT. I should have notes from my previous classes very organized, so I can go back and look. The best way for me is just organization and making sure I have all my essentials. And also an easier way for you to guys to get into school and some of you guys are scared of making friends and things like that try to stay around positive people people who work hard people who have the same goals so join clubs and find your type of people and people who like things you do and also find people who don't like the same thing like with just class because you don't just be, have friends or just talking about class all the time you want friends who you can do hobbies with for example i'm in a bio club i love bio club me and my friends study but we also do other activities but i'm also in another club i was an emerging leaders mentor so i did things with emerging leaders and i loved it and i love hanging out with my friends and talking to them and going to social events so make sure you stay in tune for all of those things because honestly that's what makes the college experience like yes your grades are number one and your health everything else you know comes second to that but enjoy yourself because you only go to school once and you know you want to make the best of it so yeah um another tip i would give at least for me that works for exams i'm like freaked out about all the exams i love to get dressed when i have an exam i like if i feel better i do better i I am a big sufferer from anxiety. I like have a full blown panic attack before an exam. Like I gotta use the bathroom. Like I can't have caffeine because my heart, I have heart palpitations. It hurts. So I literally love to do my hair in the morning, do my makeup. I, and I don't even know what I'm doing with my makeup, but I'm like, oh, this looks cute. You know, I feel better. I use a nice highlighter. I'm like, oh, you see that glow, girl? You about to glow in the class. Don't worry. And then I start talking to myself in the mirror. And honestly, a positive attitude will res will result into a better grade. Because if you go in there having a panic attack, you're gonna flunk, probably nine out of 10. So try to have a positive attitude, involve yourself with friends, make sure you're organized, make sure your grades, because that's the number one thing you're there for, is to have an experience to grow as a person. And you pay for these classes, so make sure you invest in your own investments, because no one else will. Also, um, you know, and make positive friends because people are there, they're just as scared as you. Like, I know as a freshman, I was so scared. I made tons of friends and I've every single friend I've met in college is, has been wonderful. Um, my dorm experience has been wonderful. And yes, there are 
faults within you know relationships in college and just like any other place like high school but literally everybody's there to succeed so you try your best to succeed and one thing I also would say to remember is don't compare yourself to others because when you compare yourself to others you think that you're doing bad or you think you're doing better and it's just like it's not about that it's like focus on you improving you for tomorrow if you stay focused on that, you will improve. But if you focus your grades on who knows what and what you don't know, you're never gonna get past the first step. Like, for example, when I go with my friends and we're in Biome Club, I'm not worried about who knows more than me. I'm like, oh, like, you know, my friend will say something important and I'll take a note of that. Or I'll look through my friend's notes to see if I miss something. So try your best to kind of like compare yourself to you. Make sure you're like, oh, you know, yesterday I didn't think I studied well for this exam next, for today. And then so next week I'm going to study two days ahead. If you didn't read a chapter on time, like let me read this chapter, you know, today. Or let me finish this. Or when you have free time, like when I go out to eat, you know, with my friends at lunch, I bring my book because I review my notes. So make sure you make every effort to be better you tomorrow. Also stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water because, girl, <laughs> you're going to be sweating. Oh, God, whoever's watching this, because I sweat during my exams. My hands get clammy. I can't hold the pencil, and I'm, like, freaking out. So I drink a lot of water. I do not drink no caffeine before a test, because I don't know about you, but I know I don't sleep like that during an exam. So I work, and I do everything to keep myself calm. And the best thing not to do is study and cram the night before because when you're taking an exam, you're just going to be remembering all the things you cluttered in your mind and it's not going to be clear. Go through everything that you already went through one last time at the night before. Wake up fresh in the morning, get dressed, take a nice shower, you know, do a makeup facial, I don't know, whatever feels better for you. I've actually heard people drink a cup of wine before their exam and it works glorious for them. I'm not saying become alcoholics now. I'm just saying that there's different things for different people. Try it out because you never know the endless possibilities that can bring forth to you. Um, also, talk to people. Like, I talk to my friends, I'm like, listen, I need help right now because I'm freaking out. My friends like, calm down. You know, let's go through flashcards. Let's eat breakfast. You know, I try to bring all my friends coffee and I'm like, let me stay calm. Let me stay around this calm environment. And then there's some times that I have to get up and I have to leave. Just because I don't want to make my friends freak out either. So try your best to keep yourself together. And keep your grades good. And stay focused on the positive. Because life is always going to be hard. And it's always going to give you challenges. Oh, I'm sorry guys. My dog's barking. And how I keep in mind and how I keep forward is just like... I know that if I mess up, then that's just something I'm gonna make and I'm gonna learn from. And I'm still going through anxiety now. Like I am so freaked out. I go to school Sunday and I'm like, hey, you guys need to relax. This is going too fast. How can I handle? But I'm also like, I'm ready for this. And I think that you guys are ready too. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please subscribe to my channel and I'll make a video about my notes and how I take them. And maybe I'll ask my friends and I'll do like a video with my friends and they'll show it. They'll share your, their comments with you about how they do their work so you guys can have different examples. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to cut the video like just before I closed out and I love my mom. But listen, when you live in a Spanish home, there is no privacy. There is no like, uh -huh. when I got a question for you, it's right now. Like it's not later. So I'm sorry about that, you know, you know, mamas, papas, family, they're crazy, but they're lovely and you got to appreciate them. So yeah, so um, like and subscribe and leave any comments about your tips and if this helped you out and please share because, you know, this, I hope that this will help somebody else who's going through anxiety because I know I go through it like really hard and I and I know like I like to listen to other people's stories because they always make me feel better and I like to get to know other people and through social media I guess is a big way to kind of open that platform so yeah if you guys have any questions please feel free to email me I would love to hear from you guys and if you guys are going through anything that I didn't guess I guess I didn't answer let me know too because I would love to answer you guys and yeah love you guys bye